Hey everyone, Tamias here. Um, thank you for the views and the likes in the previous videos. I have finally gotten access to my mic at home, so um, this should be better in terms of audio quality. And today I want to talk about uh, the keys to, um, to enjoying Princess Connect and what you should focus on. Or hopefully at least this video will help you to decide what areas you would be focusing on. Um, it's very important to know that uh, in this game it's hard to cover all the grounds if you are not a whale. Um, you have to decide kind of between PvP or clan battle if you want to be super competitive in one of them. Uh, or you can be casual and just kind of uh, be a mid-range player for both. Um, so today I want to cover you know, what you should look out for and the pros and cons of each playstyle. So first and foremost, I think the majority of the players in this game are uh, wife co uh, waifu collectors or casuals. So they don't really care too much about you know having the best meta units or teams every single time. Uh, they just really want to enjoy the story, and the game is great at that in the sense that you know it's got amazing story, uh, it's got animations, uh, voiceovers. The, the game is fantastic. You get to learn about the characters. Uh, it's really great in that sense. And uh, those players, they usually have the most fun, I believe, and there's no need to worry about meta that much. Uh, although there are some units that you can pull to make things a lot easier for you story-wise, um, but uh, you actually don't have to uh, get all the units to make sure um, you pass every content. And that's one of the questions I get all the time is, you know, if I don't pull uh, unit X and Y, will I, have, will I have issues with content? And the answer is no. You will definitely be able to clear all of the content uh, without re-rolling. Um, some units might make it easier, but uh, you can definitely do it. And most of all, it's just easy dailies. You know, you can finish all the dailies with skip tickets in about 15 to 20 minutes and just look at your, your pretty uh, waifus and just play the game. So... After that would be the uh, PvP. So PvP players usually I think are um, kind of in the middle of the pack. Um, they again can be very competitive you know if you want to stay in rank 1 um, but the majority I think are satisfied with top 20, um, top 50, even top 100 uh, if they focus on PvP. And PvP is dependent in the sense that uh, um, your bracket is decided on uh, when you finish story four or five so one of the misconceptions is the pvp ladder or the bracket is shared across the entire server that that's not true so only clan battle is cross server or the entire server but uh, pvp is dependent on when you clear four or five so for example in my guild on the uh, global server someone cleared four or five four hours before me and uh, I was in a different uh, PvP bracket than that person uh, when I cleared it about four to five hours after. Um, so initially when the PvP bracket starts, uh, players come in, they fill the arena, you see a lot of bots in the arena and then as they slowly replace these uh, bots and as the player count in that bracket reaches a certain threshold, uh, a new bracket opens and the players clear for a stage four or five uh, would enter that. So again, it's a smaller population you have to compete against, which means that if you know any of these players in that bracket quit, it's going to be an easier time for you. Um, so less investment or less competition needed to maintain that top 50, top 100. Um, and it's the same case for Princess Arena, uh, but instead of stage 4 or 5, it's stage 8, 15. Um, and um, for that, you essentially have to have three teams against their other three teams and you compete uh, for the rewards. The daily rewards are quite nice if you can manage to have um, top uh, top 50, top 100 and um, if you have all the PvP meta units, it's not too hard. Initially, it's going to be dominated by whales who have 5 star everything, but later on free to play players definitely can catch up. And also again, free to play players who don't jam hard initially for stamina will not be in the same uh, bracket regardless uh, for, uh, for their PvP bracket. Um, so it's key uh, to in, uh, to uh, remember that and also PvP you only get five attacks You can use gems to refill and have more attacks, but usually five attacks is definitely enough to uh, to stay ahead uh, Like for me, I'm in the all right um, PvP bracket for my princess arena, but I don't do a lot of attacks We just kind of chill there and the rewards are nice uh, I would say it's less competitive than clan battle at the top level uh, unless you're uh, going for rank one which means that you have to be there when uh, the arena resets to make sure that uh, no one's sniping you out of rank 1 or you want to snipe the rank 1 uh, player. Uh, so that's PvP and the next part, uh, personally I enjoy the most, 
is uh, clan battle. So for me, um, clan battle is definitely the biggest part why I play the game. It gets very tiring sometimes. Um, it's uh, cross servers where you are um, you're comparing with every player uh, in the uh, in the global server. So everyone who has a guild and they're participating in the clan battle, uh, your score will be against theirs, uh, your clan or guild score. And it's essentially a send back competition. You're playing and you're killing bosses over and over again um, to see who kills, uh, who proceeds further into the um, uh, into the uh, uh, the bosses. Um, essentially, every time you kill one, you you go back and you kill again. Uh, one by one through the five uh, five bosses and every time they get stronger after three iterations uh, so it's how many ever iterations it can go and uh, how much damage you can do as a person um, so PvP oh, sorry uh, clan battle can also be as casual as you want it to be uh, there are lots of clans who um, they have players who just auto uh, their three attacks and you get three attacks per day for five to seven days whatever the duration is uh, on launch it could be 10 days it depends on how uh, Crunchyroll decides to uh, to set the clan battle duration uh, but essentially you are going in and um, you're doing your three attacks with the other 29 members of your guild and uh, to see how far uh, you can get uh, it, what's important to notice uh, to know that it can be very very time consuming at the top top competitive level um, I've had uh, CB experiences where you know the the planner or the leader is online for over 12 hours to 14 hours a day, just planning out everything, making sure everyone's doing their proper attacks, and you can't auto; you have to be manual. But I'd say that um, the global server should not be that competitive, and again, you can still be good uh, if you auto with the correct comps. Um, but for me, definitely clan battle is uh, my favorite part of the game because uh, it's the uh, most competitive part for me um, um, to uh, compete against everyone else um, but everything again can be autoed um, so if you're a mid-range player you can auto your pvp you can auto your, auto your clan battle and still do really really well uh, while still enjoying the game um, and if you're a competitive person you know you can be super competitive in pvp you can be super competitive in clan battle it really depends on your choice the biggest advice I can give regarding that is um, if you know your style early, you know, do you want to just compete with potentially 5,000 people in your PvP bracket? Um, or do you want to join a guild with 29 friends and really push for it uh, for uh, the top clan battle ranking? Or you just want to be casual and look at your, uh, your units and read their stories. Uh, it, so it all comes down to your, um, to your preference. And as uh, the earlier you know about your preference, I think the, the better you'll enjoy the game. So make sure that uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me or post them down below and try my best to answer them. Um, and hope you enjoy the game.